Eyes. How are you today? Excellent. And can you just briefly tell our audience who you are and what your business is and what your mission is? I am Sigal Diaz from the Sigal Health Spa, and I have a holistic luxury lifestyle firm. I have a, another firm, which is a marketing firm, and I combine uh, these two companies to do special events like Mobile Spa, like we have here today. We really support this. Uh, you know, approach, and we want to get it out there, and that's why we're here today. Here, actually. I'm, I'm, my name is Per Wickstrom Ellis. I'm uh, the CEO of a company called Runway to Success .org, wow, okay. which which represents five different treatment modalities or, or systems, and we've developed a more holistic approach to fight different addictions and different problems people have in life. That's interesting. And we have we have five buildings and an average of 50,000 square foot of location. And we have one detox center that's strictly holistic. So instead of replacing, doing a replacement therapy, if you know if somebody has a problem, we use natural holistic methods to get them off drugs, keep them off. When you guys say holistic, can you explain to the audience exactly what holistic means? Organic and steroid free and no chemicals. Uh, I like and a lot of other people, you know, it's growing in interest, in popularity, to not put chemicals in your body or on your skin, and to eat healthy and use true holistic products that go into your skin, like mine and your blood and vice versa. So um, it's a combination holistic lifestyle, and that's what we support, which is a mind, body, and spiritual thing. And it's just no chemicals. Yeah, her, her face creams are, are all 100% natural. And it's kind of like the, the water industry we have now. I mean, how many people go to the tap water and drink tap water anymore? Nobody. Nobody. You drink bottled water because of the chemicals that they add. And not only in that, they add chemicals in your food all the time. I mean, a, the, average, the average apple has 67 pesticides in it. Why do we want to eat that stuff? 67. And, and an apple. Not a non-organic app. So we've combined up, and in, in my viewpoint, we've combined up a lifestyle change for people that want don't want to live life in a chemical-oriented society and are actually going to make a change in what we're dealing with now. So, Sigal, you were saying that you want to help people bring their lives to a different place, a different level that maybe they didn't even know could happen. Could you kind of delve into that a little bit for me? Yeah. Um, over the past 17 years that I've personally observed and uh, practiced using a organic um, approach, which is basically being more conscious of what you eat and what you put on your skin, so what you put in your body and on your skin, it's like going to affect how you feel and you're going to look. So the whole philosophy of changing your lifestyle is that you have to be conscious and more careful if you want to because there's a lot of people that are starting to do it and they're starting to feel like the benefits of you know, these healing ingredients. So, um, you know, I have Organic App and it's a partner here and they, I'm going to give you an example. You know, they make their juice and then they give it to you so all the enzymes are in it still, and that's how you get more of the benefits of these human ingredients. And that's the same day. They give same it day. The same day. And yeah. they have a date on it. Yeah, they don't do it the next day stuff. My products are the same thing. Like, the customer orders it, we make it, we don't take it from an inventory, it doesn't have a lot of chemicals, because other companies have to put the chemicals in it to keep it, you know, fresh. To keep it fresh, it makes sense. People do that with food, people do it with many things in our environment that we live in. And, you know, it's like with Paris approach to, you know, our busy, you know, days that we have. We all work very hard, I'm sure, and we're always busy. So, you know, there's things you can do, and with fitness and diet, and spiritual coaching, and there's many different ways and treatments that you can have, actually, whether it's like my God body scrubs, or something that Paris does, you know, there's things you can do to make your life more, um, I don't know, more energy to bring to yourself physically or more clarity of mind, I guess. There's so many different ways. We're just here, like, 
a lot of people that are more today, you know, than before, I've seen like a double, more than half, more than half of the people are now switching, you know, and they are conscious that I want to be more healthy and I want to look good and feel good and live longer and I, this is definitely working. Are. And her skin looks great. You yes. know, she does. Today she looks it's great. not that great. Fashion <laughs> week is taking, you know, a little. Well, that's the 16 hour days oh, we work. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I have, I'm sure I. It's a little. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know he has beautiful skin. Yeah. I was telling you. I use her products, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yep, pitch her products, you know. And I love her. He's a really good supporter, and that's why we really are good teams. Yeah, we work really well together. and. You know, we're, we're all out there in the field that we want to live a better lifestyle. You know, we want to have more fun in life. You know, the, 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 where we live and what we do, like New York never sleeps. You can always find something to do yeah, in New York. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. why would you have to go use, use something to have a fun time? So, last question. Uh, it is very go, go, go here in New York City. Can you give me three things that all our fashion and beauty ladies can do this week to bring themselves to another level, to learn to relax? Oh, I have a good one. I have a couple, but you have I'll a couple one. Okay. So the water ritual, because I believe in ritual, so you could do it at home. So what you do is you could do it in the bath is preferable. So you make it very hot. You fill it up with Epsom salts. Epsom salt. Yeah. Like what you buy in the drugstore. Yep. Okay. okay. And it's not expensive. You put a lot of that and then soak in it um, for like 15, 20 minutes, and it takes like the toxins out, the salt. And you can put like a little lavender, and it's very relaxing, and that I think is a good thing. And then when you get out, you can put like coconut oil too, which is really fabulous. And then your skin will be glowing, the whole body, and you feel relaxed, and you feel good to the smell. So that's one thing you can do. And then a real, real after you take that bath, if you if you put on some shorts and a t-shirt, just real casual, and take a walk. Before you, a walk before you go to bed. It's the greatest way. And look, at, you know, walk around and look at different things. You know, look at trees and you know, wherever you are, you could be in your apartment walking. But to, it's kind of like extroverts you, and you take a nice long walk and go out in bed, go to sleep. No TV. No TV. No TV. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Yeah. A lot of people fall asleep to the TV. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I know.